Hello everybody, my name is Luis Silva and tonight I would like to share you um, a solution how I can fix uh, this particular problem that uh, in my opinion there is a lack of documentation over the internet which is basically when you are using CWP um, um, s most of the times your firewall will block some TCP incoming connection or like a, a, a part of the, of the security measure that they take it by his own but these give us a lot of headache you know trying to fix uh, what is going on why the server is blocking all my service why uh, the server is actually stopping all the Apache service and related you know um, resources that you are using in your in your Linux server that I think uh, this video can help you and th that's my that's my hope that can help you just to boost out your um, your productivity next time and then also share it to the rest alright so let me just uh, start sharing uh, my current setup um, as I mentioned early um, this is this problem is focused or or tried or more related to the CWP um, control web panel for those that are not familiar with this this is a basically open source uh, C panel or control panel for um, um, Linux servers and uh, that runs on CentOS uh, which is the CentOS um, this is the operating system um, we use for alright so um, also uh, this is a VPS a virtual private server uh, the host um, using Hostinger provider and they are not paying me for that so it's, it's just uh, disclosed <laughs> but it's good to mention they offer a, an affordable um, uh, an affordable service and there is also really good such as Linoi and Azure and those more fancy service but it's up to you guys and your budget alright so let's get started and let me show you um, a little bit what is actually happening I just take I, I took a, a snapshot so I can reverse it and then try to make this recording so everything can be uh, documented well all right I'm gonna I'm gonna log it as a root user just have my password preset it before and as you can see uh, and I'm gonna share additional or relative information this is a uh, basically um, a simple application right but I'm using a VPS we use one gigabyte uh, of, of RAM which is basically um, a, a few resources so um, but something that is actually happening here as you can see is that it, it is um, overwhelming it is constantly busy and most of them are because of this kind of problem uh, indicating me that my firewall is taking measure and is blocking so it's, it's basically um, server is using run memory just to deal with the firewall issues all the time I'm not a kind of expert on this but I was uh, taking some uh, reads and documentation and that's what I uh, I come up with. All right. So going back, uh, you can see um, I'm gonna show you the particularly uh, there is two services that are down, which is Apache Web Server and NGS Reverse Proxy. So I'm not quite interesting on ng ng Reverse Proxy, but on Apache, yes. Why? Because this is the server or this is the service that allow allow the um, allow my server to expose to the public uh, and hosted a um, web application using Apache or in this case for um, PHP alright so I'm gonna try in this case to restart at uh, least this so, um, I don't in this case is gonna is 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 restarting uh, successfully but within a couple minutes it's gonna it's gonna shoot it down again and I'm gonna just to uh, have a look sorry um, to the NGS just to see how many blockers um, incoming requests my server is trying to um, deal with okay let me try to go again uh, 
which I'm trying to restart it. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to spend there a little bit, right? And you clearly see that there is a lot of firewalls, um, tasks that are being uh, making my server busy, right? Basically, the um, CentOS firewall configuration is blocking all of these uh, potential in Harmon's IP, right? The you know for a weird reason they are just trying to um, hack in services. Um, these happenings from the security perspective, uh, when um, new uh, BPS are are born. So there is a lot of servers around the world that are trying to capture those vulnerabilities. And then when they're finding, they were trying to uh, overwhelm your server. If, if they can steal information, um, that's gonna be their first approach. But in the second approach, when they realize that they can do nothing, uh, they start just to overwhelm your server. So until it just goes down and then your service um, start not working anymore all right so i'm gonna do a quick fix so i'm just gonna close this right uh, let me just refresh this to see it there we go my apache with server it stop it again and this is usually for this kind of problem and my memory run is also busy okay so I'm going now to um, the, C conf the firewall configuration that CWP have, right? And I'm gonna move on to the first option, which is firewalls configuration, all right? And I'm going to deny um, some of those potential requests for certain countries. Why I do this? Basically, I'm not trying to discriminate it or not trying to point it out a uh, uh, certain region around the world, but there is a certain um, country that um, they're trying just to harm people and then trying to, to uh, stop services for no reason, right? So to do that, what you have to do is just go into the um, CF, CS, cff.com file, right, config file, and, all, and then try just to specify all the countries that you don't want to have this, um, this requested. So you wanna deny the requested from this country. In this case, for example, if, if I want to deny from the United States or for um, the um, Germany area, in this case is DE, it stands for Germany, um, just have to uh, specify within this um, um, value and just save it and then just restart my firewall. But I'm gonna just leave it down for a moment and I'm, I'm going to open uh, in another window, another perspective that actually I forget to show you guys. Uh, this is within the firewall, right? Before I make those changes. So you will see those potential requested uh, that were shown before now are listed in this UI. Those requested are the ones that are making my server to be overwhelmed. So I have a request from Chile, another for Germany, another for United Kingdom and Panama and so on. Okay, so I'm gonna just um, flush in all those uh, entries. Okay, I have it. Okay, then going back to my configuration, and I have a code right here that I'm gonna just copy for a certain country that I don't, I don't interested in getting connection from. So this list of country I don't want to get requested from them. Most of them are the ones that are harming my, my my server and I don't want to have it anymore. All right, so just save it, right? Yeah, we recommend it to create a, a file backup, right? 
but I haven't tested yet, so I have tested this already, so I'm pretty confident for, with this. All right, save my changes. Then going back to my configuration or the firewall. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to the home page. That's easy for me. Okay, then going to the firewall, and then going to um, the option to restart all the service. Okay, is there we go. Within the restart options, there is last option which is forced to restart all the services of the firewall. You have to, otherwise your changes will not be reflected, and um, nothing's gonna be changing <laughs> so you have to already okay so going back to my firewall I will just have a quick look if I have an additional request here no that looks pretty good so far okay All right so now going back home and then trying to restart my services okay and also want to draw my memory and lastly but not the end um, highly recommended to restart your server why this is recommended is just to apply and propagate it, all of those changes that we just made it um, um, from all the different configuration for the server. Basically, you made it now on runtime memory, on runtime, um, yeah, runtime memory. But sometimes is part of the good practices just to restart the server, and then it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, 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 it will be uh, much, much, much better. All right, okay. I hope you guys have fun and I hope this uh, is really useful for you guys so in case you don't want to have undecided requests just go and block it and you will ready to go right okay take care bye now